Okay, so we're going to do a video on basically my range box. This is just a clear Plano, I believe it's a Cabela's brand box. And it is watertight, sort of. Uh, I wouldn't trust that really. But, you know, if it's in the rain, it's okay. And this is literally what I brought home from the range yesterday. Uh, I went to the range, this is Christmas Day. And I went to the range yesterday morning to help a friend with their new Glock. And there was more ammo in here. <laughs> uh, and we had tossed some of his magazines in here. But this is otherwise kind of how this lives. I add and remove stuff. But let's go through it. Uh, we've got my 22 conversion, 1911. Uh, yeah, it ju just kind of lives in there. Uh, gets clean once in a blue moon. Three magazines for that. The original one and then two polymer ones that don't work so hot. I've got some Ruger 1022 magazines because it's easier to keep track of them when they're in here. And the 1022 actually, this sounds ridiculous, but it literally lives, oops, it literally lives in a soft case in my kitchen. Uh, my kitchen has an entry area, like out to the back deck that I use as an entry and exit. And I literally leave it there. And well, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it goes to the range pretty much every time. So the magazines live in the box. Uh, a ton of 22. I got some super extra. Uh, we've got some CCI standard. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, CCI mini mags. I mean, those are, those are my three main supersonic 22 loads. I'm actually trying to go through the CCI. I'm, I'm down to like 500 rounds and I'm just trying to burn through it. Uh, the CCI or the, the Aguila is my main stash. And then the mini mags, I also have a bunch of, but the mini mags are mostly for the 22 conversion. The rest of it's for the 1022. Uh, my rifle is zeroed for the, the mini mags, but it's reliable with everything. So I usually shoot other stuff unless I care about exactly where it's hitting. Uh, got tape, always good to have some tape. I use that to put up the targets. I've got two of them folded up here. Uh, some nine millimeter, obviously I've got empty cases. Got a flag. Uh, there's probably a second flag in here. Uh, doesn't look like it. It's a round somewhere. It might be in a rifle case. Um, two bean bags. Uh, these are lightweight ones. You can hear that. They're like the, the plastic beads on both of them. Um, the bigger one here is much denser. That one is kind of a... Uh, you just squeeze it and give yourself elevation under the butt of the rifle. This one you can use either in front or in back. Uh, so, a whole bunch of shooting C's. I've got these larger ones, and then this one's trash. Uh, these smaller ones, I use them a lot because I'll take whatever target somebody had up, and I'll just throw one of those on there when they're done, and I'll use that rather than having to go get a whole new target face and carry it out there. Eh, why not? Over here. More one inch dots, bunch of them in there. Those are strips from the herders. That's trash from this last trip. And that is pretty much it. Uh, normally I would have ear protection or eye protection in here, but I've been leaving it in the car uh, lately just easier. Uh, my eye protection is a pair of sunglasses, so I use them a lot for just in general. I don't just use them at the range. And the ear protection are those little in-ear uh, multi-use plugs. They're not the, the disposables. So I, wa I wash them off and I put them back and I leave them in the car. 
So I've got a couple pairs of those in there. But otherwise, I would toss earplug, you know, earmuffs, earplugs. Uh, looks like I took them out. I had a disposable uh, set of earplugs that I kept in here. Oh, I, I used them with a friend, different friend, but a um, little plastic container with those. And I need to get those back in here with a, a new set. But that's it. Um, I do keep a bottle of CLP in here. I mean, this is just slip EWL, but could be anything. Uh, I'm, I just like the EWL, but I mean, literally use whatever you want. Uh, I just, I wouldn't go to the range without some form of a lubricant because guns jam up and usually the easiest way to get them working again is a little lube. So that is it. Uh, normally there'd be more ammo in here. Um, there'd be, if I was bringing a nine to the range, I'd have, you know, more, more nine. If I was bringing a 45, I'd put 45 in here. If I was bringing a rifle, so on. Uh, the only time it gets tricky is when I'm bringing a bunch of stuff in different calibers and I've got to carry, you know, two boxes of 45, two boxes of nine, a bunch of boxes of rifle ammo, the 22. Uh, sometimes this gets overloaded and I have to put ammo in other places. But for the most part, this box does it for a range trip. I don't need anything else. It's this and whatever firearms are going. And when I'm doing handguns, very often, uh, you know, you saw how I put that in there. Uh, I'll do the same thing with my SIG. Uh, toss it in on top. I'll even toss the GoPro in here. Uh, it, it holds a lot. So anyway, that is what I do for a range bag. Take care, have fun, stay safe, y'all, and Merry Christmas. Say hi. Oh. <laughs>